Welcome to a special edition of Crazy Wisdom, uh, where we will be uh, experientially understanding what it takes to create an NFT. This is a wild experiment. You might not publish this because of a uh, potential private information that's being shared, um, but we will go and check it out. So yeah, so, and I've got Ayulua here. Um, did, I, did I pronounce your name right? Uh, no, but it's fine. How do you pronounce your name? Ayo, Ulua. It's two words. Ayo, right? Ulua. Yeah, Ayo and Ulua. Ulua. Ayo, Ulua. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay. Ayo, Ulua. Uh, and so we're going to be just kind of troubleshooting the process as to how to actually go through and create an NFT. Um, and so the first thing we did was we got a MetaMask account. And so I've got this MetaMask account, which is a wallet. It's like an online wallet that you can basically put uh, Ethereum into. But there's actually a big question here because uh, there's two different blockchains that are being used to create NFT. One is Ethereum and the other one is Tezos. Um, and uh, it, this, is, this might be really interesting because it might be turned into the... Um, same thing that VHS and beta, um, beta video happened. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, not really. I know what VHS is, but uh -huh. I'm not really sure. What, so in the, uh, in the 1980s, maybe early 90s, uh, there was a challenge between two different types of video sharing um, in VHS, one, one out. And so that's why you know what VHS is, but you don't know what the other one is, which is, was beta. Uh, and the same thing happened with Blu-ray and DVD. So it's like at any inflection point when there's a new technology coming, um, uh, there are usually a few different competitors and you don't, at, at the time where it's happening, you don't know which one's gonna win. So for NFTs, Ethereum and Tezos are now competing. I have a line in with the, the founder of Tezos. I wanna interview her uh, soon to, to figure out what's going on there. So we have two different options for that. I mean, but that's the crazy thing going on here because there are so many different options. My friend just told me about OpenSea, uh, which is uh, this website we're on here. This is a really easy way to create an NFT where you just basically um, uh, go and collect, connect your MetaMask account, which I've already done here. Uh, and if I were, and I don't actually need to put Ethereum into here, um, you can just create uh, very quickly. And then the way that they make money is basically if I sell my NFT, then they will get um, a... Uh, What's that? A percentage, they'll get a percentage yeah. of the proceeds. Exactly. So uh, let's figure it out. So create your collection. You can change these values. Um, let's just go for it. Okay, so now I've created the collection and now we can create an NFT. This might be way simpler than I was making it out to be. Okay, so is this like, um, <clears throat> so excuse me. Yeah. Is this like a platform for, so this is like a platform for creating NFTs like, let's say Canva is to design. Wait, what did you just Something like that. I say is OpenSea, is it a platform for creating NFTs just like Canva is a platform for creating designs, like graphic designs? Ah. I don't, uh, yeah, potentially. Um, so, so let's, let's get into it. So the NFT, an NFT is basically, you're just creating a non fungible token. Uh, so, uh, there are, there are fungible tokens right now. One Ethereum is fungible with another Ethereum. Um, so there's a lot of them, uh, and the, 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 the value of each one is dependent on the entire network and how much value is going into the network and how much people perceive the value of going into the network. Uh, and an NFT is the opposite of that. So you only create one of them um, and it's scarce. Uh, I might have gotten that wrong. If anybody's listening to this, please uh, find me and correct me. But an NFT is basically this, you, you, you tie a piece of artwork, a piece, you can tie anything, literally anything. I could, I could tie this book um, and give it an NFT and then say, whoever owns this NFT owns this book. But it's weird because you can, you know, it's like you can create a whole bunch of NFTs. So it's, 
the value is not quite clear yet. There might be value. It might be hype. Um, uh, it, it does seem like there's going to be some sort of value of tying physical thing or tying intellectual property to the blockchain. And I think that's where the value is. Um, does that make sense? Did that even answer your question? Uh, <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. But I was just wondering whether OpenSea was like, you know, uh, was, was allowed you... Mm -hmm. um, how do you create NFTs like you know in as it's like because the way the platform looks from what I can see it's like it looks like a let's say a hub or mm -hmm. uh, a workshop like yeah a like a workstation basically yeah. it reminds it just reminds me of sites like Canva and Webflow and stuff so yeah so it's a basically curious. it's a way to create an nft yeah using their software and then they get paid if you if i were to actually sell this nft then they would get a percentage like you said uh and then there's other there's other um platforms which I, my friend was telling me are much more complicated and require ethereum but the crazy thing about ethereum is that um if i were to do it i would basically spend money creating it on gas fees um and then it could get complicated and how much because this is all like you know, this is all developer territory and developers just kind of, as we were talking about, fuck around uh, and find out. Um, and, uh, and then they, you know, create stuff. So we'll, let's try just creating a simple NFT here. Hopefully one of these photos, what we'll do. We'll take one of my photos. <laughs> Okay, so this is the picture you want to use? Yeah, and it's just an experiment. So we got image, so we can do image, video, audio, or 3D model. You can do 3D models, that's great. Um, that's interesting, so a 3D model, so it means that you could, you could uh, sell your 3D model that I could take to, into my 3D printer and then, um, and then mm -hmm. print that. And then, and then oh, if wow. I were, yeah, that's, that's, actually, that's really interesting. So it becomes a physical object. Yeah, oh, oh that's, that might be where the value is. Um, I see. Okay, so name, let's call this a winter wonderland. Oh, okay, we'll include a link to this UI so that users can click to learn more about it. Um, let's do my podcast. Properties, levels, stats. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Unlockable content. Uh, that's also interesting. This is this is actually an idea that we can use for the podcast, which I had a, an idea for. Is basically you get people to give crypto in order to unlock a, po a special podcast episode. So this could actually be a way to do that. The number of copies that can be minted, no gas cost to you. So this is the this is the way of making it non fungible. So I can put one, I can put a, um, oh, quantities above one coming soon. So they can only do one. Uh, but in other ones, in other NFTs that are require more in-depth understanding, then um, uh, you, can, um, you can create multiple copies, but then the value of, of those copies goes down because the, the whole idea is that about this is that you make something scarce. You can only have one of them. So let's create our first... Okay, so it asked me for a signature. Oh, interesting. So MetaMask is a way to basically sign uh, for transactions. But I don't have any Ethereum. If you look at the balance, I don't have any Ethereum in this wallet, but I don't need it apparently to do this because this particular thing will only charge me after I sell it. Let's see. Right. So before we go on, can you explain fungibility again? I, I read about it, but I didn't really... Uh, I'm probably not the best best person to answer it, but I, love, I, I, I have a, a, a weird idea of it. So fungible means that a U.S. dollar is fungible. Um, I think a can a can of oil is fungible as long as the quality of the oil is 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 
it basically means that you can transfer one US, uh, one US dollar has the same value as another US dollar and they're interchangeable basically. Um, okay. I th and, and so a non-fungible would be, um, okay, so a non-fungible would be, uh, there's only one, one of US them. US dollar to one euro. Interesting. Well, they're kind of fungible because they, 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 there's, a, there's a network that trans, transacts between those. So one US dollar would be fungible with 1.3 um, oh, euros okay. or whatever, I think. Uh, and then a non-fungible would be this unique thing like art is not fungible because it's priceless. It's all dependent on this, on this abstract value that people give it. Whereas mm -hmm. the US dollar is kind of like that because it, there is some sort of abstract value, but there's also the fact that the US government backs it and has um, military and all this different stuff. Um, and again, if any, if I did, got that wrong, I want to understand it. So, so if anybody's listening to this, please correct me. Um, and uh, so we've created new new items. So I've now, I've now created an NFT of this picture that I thing, and I can now visit or I can sell it. Hmm. I see. Let's try selling it. That was, that was relatively straightforward. Ah, interesting. So I can set a price, I can do highest bid, I can bundle. Um, With other I items to sell. Set the amount of the price. Um, interesting, we can get into that later. Oh, and this is visiting, so, oh, you get analytics, so you can track it. This is really interesting. I think this is far enough for today to, we've created our first NFT. I want to see if people actually are interested in watching this. Um, and, uh, and then in the future, now I know we can do it. And then the more complicated ones, I don't want to get into that because that will require some, some things that I don't, I'm not, I would need to put Ethereum into the wallets and stuff like that. Uh, so that's enough for today. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. All right, bye-bye, everyone.